Oh, <sighs> Jack, you always come back so late. What's wrong? Bad news? Hi, uh, everyone. Welcome back to This Laura is the Police. Is ready. ready how? She's coming back? When? Not that fast, Jack. Laura's ready to talk. But if she's ready to talk, she's getting ready to come back. Okay, that's his mother-in-law. just need to find the right words. You can find the right words, right, Jack? I'm not an idiot. I didn't ask for this, Jack. It's the middle of the night, and I'm alone on an old farm, 40 minutes away oh from Oh, God, anywhere. we don't have Set to talk to our wife, porch, do we? And now I'm getting snapped at. I came here so you could personally promise me that you'll be able to find the right words. So let's try again. You can find the right words, right, Jack? I can find the right words, Mrs. Markham. That's good to hear. Tomorrow night at 3 o'clock at the Octopus Restaurant. You know it? Yeah, but it's closed at night. Oh, I've arranged for them to be open. Don't be late. But don't come too early either. Okay, we're going to try and get back with the old wifey. Yeah. Good stuff. I should okay, that hopefully will cheer him up. Tea or something before you go. <laughs> Do you have any tea? No. Good night, Jack. Ah, <laughs> oh, brilliant. The stars floating around. Lovely. Day 30, August 13th, Tuesday. Golden Bird. Biannual report. More deaths than births in Freeburg. Freeburg Tribune. Debbie's calf charged with health and safety violations. Was she the one who was cooking dogs? I hope not. And the fact. Freeburg's number one paper. Red Cat rescues girl from rapist. What? Okay. Well done, Red Cat. We still got this crappy car. We have a hundred grand in the bank and we got a crappy car. Okay. We've got... At least we've got more of a shift. Baker and Percy still got low energy. But everyone's in. No one's drunk. Everyone's in. Hallelujah. Halla flipping luli. Lulila. Lulila. Luya. Right. We can make a request. Do we want to request a pay rise? SWAT upgrade. Request an expansion for your officers. Request. Um, we need. Well, yeah, we need a, another officer for the other shift. For shift A. They're struggling big time. Okay, we got a fight. Ritari uh, Manny Versch called in to report that fight between a little girl's father and a dog lover whose Rottweiler had frightened the child. While the men were busy settling matters, the dog was spotted running towards the amusement park. Oh, joy. Purdy, I'll take Asano. Go and sort that dog out. Right, let's have a look at these investigations. They are doing crap and theft. The, oh, they're in today, so hopefully we'll get some frames on that one. Is anyone in here on this one today? No, okay, fine. Purdy and Asano are hitting sight now. Purdy and Asano, offender caught, officers in harms. Good job. Good job. Okay, we're slowly building them up. We have City Hall. Oh, here we go. It seems City Hall is an happy target of spontaneous demonstrations. Some 20 people have gathered in protest against the increase in garbage tax. Protesters are behaving peacefully, but they demand to speak to city officials. Okay, Kochi, take Mazza, Baker, and Percy, and take the paddy wagon as well. we got to impress City Hall, otherwise we're in trouble. We, we need the other officer slot. We desperately need the other officer slot. It's quite a calm start to the day. City centre. Uh, Tiffany Lee, while visiting a local mall, encountered a hooded man who grabbed her expensive bag and bolted. She immediately called the police. Isn't the mall safe anymore? The man must still be in the building. Please hurry. Purdy, take Yancey. Oh my god, hang on, whoa. I shouldn't have sent my two best officers on this shift. Well, two of the best officers. I've got left with the two of the dregs. Um, City Hall, offenders caught, officers in harms. Good job, everyone. Percy's up to 65. Unbelievable. He might actually... Do you know what? I don't want to kill him off now. I want to make him into a useful officer. It may take a while. Okay, the city centre robbery. The offender attempted to escape the mall, but guards blocked the door. He turned and fled inside, uh, looking for another way out. Somebody stopped the thief, run after him, ordered the man to halt. Let's order him to halt. 
The defender ran into a skater rink, then slipped and fell on the ice. As he struggled to regain his footing, he pulled out a knife from his pocket. Use pepper spray on him, seize the knife, take aim at the man. Let's use our pepper spray. Purdy Yancey, good job. That's what top cops do. Look at that. They get the job done. We've got some counterfeiting in the park. A woman put up a tent in the park and is inviting everybody to come by a new highly profitable currency which will raise 10 times in value over the coming weeks. A long line has already formed and people are starting to push the good and curse each other. Honestly, what's wrong with people? Right. Um, take best. You two can... And Percy, you three go and sort that out. Maybe we should have sent the paddy wagon if the crowd got unruly, but um, I'm sure they can handle it. It started to rain, so hopefully that will disperse some of the crowd. Oh, the uh, situation is more serious than we thought. Okay, well, let's send some uh, big cheeses in. Let's send those three in. We'll keep Purdy and Asano back. Bus stop. Frank Conway's wallet was stolen at the bus stop. He quickly notices the loss and he's hunting for the pickpocketer with his friends. The group is blaming everyone in sight and the situation is quickly escalating. The matter will soon come to blows. Purdy, take Asano. Should just send the SWAT team. That will um, freak everyone out, wouldn't it? Counterfeiting report. Team, offenders caught, officers in harm. Good job. Good job. Loot found money. Ooh. Uh, Ask the Mafia to sell money. Or is this her crappy little... Um... Yeah, well, why not? It's probably her crappy currency. We'll get that sold. We need to make um, that 500 quid up to pay Baker. Because she's, she's got a nice little learner on the side now, being our snitch. Okay, we got St. John's Hospital. A man came to the hospital with a very large dog. The dog was on a leash and wearing a muzzle, but it was growling and jumping at the other patients. A duty nurse warned the man that it was against hospital policy to bring animals into the building, but the man just snarled at her and refused to listen. Kochi. Can't sort that out. She's a big dog lover. She's great with that. Great with animals. She's got that kind of inner calm. She can talk to them like um, Caesar the Dog Whisperer. Theft reports. Purdy Asano, good job, good job, good job. Excellent. Excellent. Look at Percy up to 75. Baker is over average now. Corn monu Monument. Mass riot. Apparently, approximately 100 people have gathered in the park to protest at the construction of a new casino near the cemetery. Soon after, a group of pick uh, pickup trucks pulled up and several strong men climbed out. Without saying a word, they began to fight with the demonstrators. Send the paddy wagon. This is going to be this is going to be all hands to the pump. Uh, Asano is coming back to the station with Purdy anyway, so that shouldn't be too bad. It's coming up in the middle of the night. Kochi wants to calm the dog down. Everyone's okay. Well done, Kochi. She come back from the hospital now. Good job. Good job. Okay, they're all on site at the riot. Uh, the fight is in full swing and some of the combatants are carrying weapons. Um, surround the park, calm, tell everyone to calm down. Shoot in the air in an effort to pacify the crowd, uh, which never works. Enter the fight and attempt to detain the hooligans. Surround the park and tell everyone to calm down. Big team, offenders caught, officers unharmed, civilians unharmed. Oh my goodness, Percy's up to 85. Unbelievable. I am going to make him a decent officer. I am. I've decided he is now my my project. Uh, assault. Live good mini market parking lot. A young DJ, upon ent exiting the store, ran into a strange looking man wearing a black and red robe. First the man knocked the energy drink from the DJ's hand, then told him of the merits of drinking human blood. Okay. His demeanor came threatening and he demanded money for protection from the forces of darkness. A fight between the two men erupted, during which the DJ suffered several bites. The attacker then began to accost other passers-by, including a frightened group of teenagers, and then sunk his teeth into the shoulder of an elderly woman. Kochi, take Asano, go and crack some skulls. Honestly. I hope that's not Beard from Shift Day out on a good night out. You know what he's like. He likes a bit of rough and tumble. 
Okay, theft report. No. F oh. Useless. Kochi Asano, offender court, officers and harms. Good job. Good job. What is going on with these investigations? They can't do anything. Um. Picked up the brick, threw the brick, climbed in, broke that up, climbed back out. That's probably climbing in, isn't it? Cut the thing. No, it's just clearly not that. Yeah, I don't know. Unless it is... So there's that guy who kind of maybe he's just completely innocent and it was actually this he picks it up and then he smashes that then he cuts it out and then he goes for a walk uh, ah, so it'd have to be that then smashes that I don't know Well, it's not that, is it? Ah, oh, rubbish. Anything on the hit and run? Nothing new. Got on this one. Oops. Oh, what's well, we got on this one then? Um. Closed up the pharmacy like usual. It was a little past nine. Exactly half past nine. I was at the bus stop. Okay, Mr. Robbie, the homeless. Drink for my health and threw a $50 bill in my hat. Okay, that they're, they're actually... Because he's got the coins or he's got the dollars on him. So that's the closest one we got. Um, after that, I ran in, into the store. But that's all I remember. I woke up this morning and the cops were all over. I can't remember the man's face. It was more interesting in the filthy... The $50. Uh, all I've recalled is the light struck something under his jacket, something like a doctor's cloak. That's right, so he's, he's, he's... So he probably is this guy. Um... The insurance refuses to pay for the treatment he received, uh, short of money, so he's always finding a part-time job that pans out. He's willing to take on almost most difficult, dangerous work. Yesterday, for example, he changed his clothes, uh, stones, and debris fell out. I'm starting to really worry about the hellish jobs he's getting himself into. Okay. Uh, we know that's not that one because it's not going to be the bum. And we know it's not going to be that one. Um, so hang on Mr. Duff closed up the pharmacy yep and went home as usual what about if we do that no that no okay no we haven't got the frames that I can think of anyway ah uh, need some more frames End of the day. Let's get the guys coming back now. Thank goodness for that. Good job, Baker According and Percy are tired. Markham, Not surprised. Percy's up to eighty-five. To all day thinking up the right words, but to my surprise, I did my best work when I shut my head off. I didn't even want to think why Laura decided we'd meet at three o'clock in the morning, and in a restaurant we'd never gone to. I didn't know what to tell her, and something tells me she's no more ready for this meeting than I am. By nightfall, I finally stopped worrying. The right words would come when they were needed. 
And if they don't come at all, then so be it. Still wearing his police uniform, I see. Even to a romantic dinner with his his estranged wife, who he's trying to get back. I've heard said when you're knocked out oh, by uh -oh. a single blow, you don't have time to feel any pain. Oh. Well, that's a lie. It's painful as hell. Every day I spent in that coma, the pain was unbearable. <laughs> What? Coma? What? What, what? what? Where are we up to now then? Uh, what the hell is going on? Wild corruptionist. Game A or game B? Let's go for game A. What? <laughs> what? What? Day 55? What the hell's happening? Did I just... Well, I know we hit a coma, but... My God! Did I just miss out on the chance to get some money? Oh, we're coming out of the coma. Oh, we're in hospital. On a drip. Yeah, I heard about that already. Fingers taped together. We decide to spill it to the papers. We need to start thinking now about covering Day 56, our ass. Day September. I My know goodness, we've lost. Deal with this, but they'll need at least a week. Goodness Plus, me. If we wanted... Lieutenant Stat, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but I have Jack Boyd on the line. Who? Jack Boyd, sir. He's calling from the hospital. <sighs> Gibson, I'll call you back. Don't do anything without my team. Jack, well, wow. I didn't know you were awake. The doctor said you could be in that coma for months, even years. How are you feeling? Tell me who's in control, Martin. I don't think I follow you. For God's sake, Martin, tell me it's you running the department and not some stooge from the mayor's office. Uh, yes, Jack. I am performing the duties of the police chief, but the new man's coming on Saturday, Kevin Paulson. He... Kevin Paulson? Yes, it's the guy from the... I know who Kevin Paulson is. Now listen carefully, Martin. I'm coming back to work. I'm Freeburg's police chief, and it's going to stay that way for another four months. Now you get on the phone and do whatever needs to be done. If you run into any problems, threaten them with the media, court, or blackmail. Wow. But I don't think they'll give you any trouble. The mayor knows it's easier to just wait until the winter than deal with a scandal. Oh, and assemble a press conference. So did Listen, we get that Jack, request for an the officer? Truth is on your side, but you like a month ago? Into account. Martin. How long since you transferred to my department? Uh, wow, this is all escalating very quickly. How many times in the last five years have you come to my birthday party? How many times have you come to the farm when I had the boys over? Uh, never had the pleasure, but... Never, because you couldn't care less. And I don't care for you either, Stet. It wasn't me who appointed you deputy, and uh, you wouldn't have been my first choice. But if you do ever come over to my house... You won't miss the big hole in my backyard. Garbage pit. You know, wow. old rubbish. A smelly hole filled with rotten furniture and other crap. So, Stet, if I even for a moment doubt your devotion, you'll go straight into that pile of trash. Maybe you'll get to catch up with some old friends. You remember Kendrick, don't you? I'll wow. schedule the press conference for tomorrow, all right, Jack? The day after tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm going shopping. Wow. Okay. <laughs> wow. There is a guy in charge. Well, that happened. Day 57. We're going shopping. You have a new car. We hope that you'll fulfill your secret dream. Yes, we've got a, like, looks like a 1970s Ferrari or something. Oh, hell yeah. You now have new clothes. We hope you'll make you feel younger. Well, it looks just look fatter. Now you have a new hairstyle. We expect this luxurious head of hair will easily convince everyone that you're king among men. 
Uh, and we're also a ninja. You now have a new attitude. From now on, you are a true warrior. <laughs> One who will not suffer these idiots and stand in his way. You are independent and self-confident. Goodness me. Sunglasses. Point of view. One last detail is missing. Fashionable sunglasses. They'll give you a final touch to your image. The image of the peerless tiger. The hell has just happened? Good morning, saleswoman. How can I help you? Uh, thank you. I'll get what I need myself. I think you used to make decisions without any assistance. I know exactly what I want. The green ones. Oh, yeah. Now you have fashionable sunglasses. May they transform no, and not, would be not only your appearance, but how you feel. This has just gone weird. Did I just ditch my $500 sunglasses? I got an achievement, but really? $500 sunglasses I've just ditched? But I've got a Ferrari. Oh yeah. Wow, I bet this Jack, just starts first time. Outfit? Look at our wig. Look at our toupee. It's fantastic. Maybe it was a hair transfer. Martin. I'd like to think it was a hair transfer. In the backyard. Don't talk to anyone before the press conference starts. I'll try to get you on stage quickly. Kevin Paulson is here. He wanted to <laughs> Jack, I hardly recognize you. That's quite an image for a man like you. An old dog with a new trick, right? We should see each other more often. How long has it been? Last time I saw you, I fired you, Kevin. Ha! You mean the day I resigned in protest over the corruption and lawlessness... Am I supposed to remember who he is? Right. Yeah, repeat that shit oh. often enough. Someday you might start believing it. You know, Jack... I'm glad that everything turned out so well. Unlike you, I've made good use of the past seven years. My new construction company keeps getting jobs from the city, and we're doing really well. I have a new house, new hobbies, even a new wife. Maybe you've met her, Shelly Rogers. Oh, Shelly Rogers. So you really are in bed with the mayor. <laughs> it's a dream come true. All my dreams have come true. Only one oh, thing the mayor's. To bring order to the Freeburg Police Department. The mayor's daughter, I'm <laughs> you guessing. You being serious, Kevin? I'm serious as ever, Jack. I'm the most serious man you know. It's not often you see the past and the future of Freeburg Police Chiefs at the same press conference. <laughs> I hope you have Get in the pit, Kevin. Kevin. Get in the pit. There's something we need to discuss. Jack, the reporters, they're waiting for you. Oh, Mayor Rogers. Thank you, Mayor. My retirement plan somehow yeah, just the, the got tank top's not really doing our um Fortunately, our pecs I'm pretty any good at favors. Are it's making us look through slightly hoops. moobish. They all seem to like it. Giggity. Okay, we gotta do the press conference now, are we? Yes, we are. Good. Good morning, uh, Mr. Boyd. Is that a new hairstyle? It doesn't matter. Oh, we didn't come here to talk about hair. Look at that, straight down to business. That's how I am there now. Uh, do you know the person who attacked you? Um, no. I didn't recognise him. City Hall has yet to give a definitive answer as to whether you'll be returning to your post. Do you believe Mayor? Do you believe Rogers will decide your in your favour? It doesn't matter what he says. Of no, of course, of course he will. I'm free books cheap, whether he likes it or not. Yes, that's it. Do you think what happened to you is somehow affected you? We'll see. Thank you, thank you. That was the most dullest conference ever. Day 59, here we go. Jack Boyd recovers from head injury. Jack Boyd unable to name attackers. Police chief awakens from coma. Oh, first time. Look at that bad boy go. Boom. I'm too tired. I can hardly walk straight. Can I go home? No, I've been in a coma for days. You're work coming into work for heaven's sake. I'm too tired. You are tired. Look at you. Uh, Yeah, you come in tomorrow. Oh, what have you guys been doing? Who the hell are you? Vasilev, today some of my relatives have come to visit. They're from another country and I've never met before. Can I have the day off? No, you don't know them. I'm too. You are too tired. Yes, come in tomorrow. I'm too tired. Can hardly walk straight. Can I go home? Oh my god, you are tired. 
Who, who has been managing these people? Yes. Oh my god, yes. Stripes. Um. Okay, we've got a few people. Oh god, look at the state of my police department. Um. Right, okay. Robbins, you deserve some stripes. Yeah, boom, show it to 410. Good. Oh my goodness me, what is going on? We've got a tape record, look at this. We've moved into the 80s, that's great. We still have 101,000, thank goodness me. And we've got a, oh god, we've got a, we've got a sh the hell is that? Uh, cop hunt, Martin Stett. Jack, while you were in hospital, a hunt was declared on all cops. It's like all the criminals in the city suddenly went savage. They're cornering officers one by one and beating them to death. What? Our boys haven't started uh, refusing to ride out on calls alone. Our boys have started to refuse riding out on calls alone, but when the situation is really bad, even two officers will refuse to go. Goodness me. Mafia, your share. Seven grand. Okay, let's share that with the staff. Try and boost their um, thing. Uh, you can now hire one more police officer. Thank goodness for that. Um... So we've got Lee Song, 250% professionalism. Ricky L. Darius, 220 professionalism. Ricardo Megadopolopoulos, <laughs> 170. Uh, Caleb Forney and uh, James Burley. Oh my goodness me. Um, I want Lee Song, but I want Ricardo Megadopolopoulos because he's got an awesome name. But we're going to go with Lee Song. Uh, we're going to bring you into shift A, because there's no one here. There's no... Oh my goodness, look at the state of everyone. Okay. Um, we can make another request. Let's request a detective. Yep. And we've got something. What's happening at the police station? Labour market. We can we can hire somebody else, can we? Okay, we're going to record. We're going to hire Ricardo Megadopolopoulos. Good stuff. Right. Uh, a passerby saw three teenagers setting fire to a parked car. According to the eyewitness, you can still catch them. They just walked down the street, not even in a hurry. This is a trap, so we're going to send Robbins, Vandal, and Vasily. Or Vasiliev. Samadhi and Beard, they're two tough guys, they'll be fine. Alright, oh, we got an investigation coming in. Oh my goodness, look at this. It's some sort of. Um. Club patrons found a man lying unconscious in the bathroom. Appears to have a drug overdose. Right, we need to get some... Um... Who's on shift today? Wormsley. Oh my goodness, I don't really want him to be heading up. That's all. He's all we've got. Wormsley. Oh, he's not in. Where is he? He's not in today. Right, who is on... Who? Who? Who's on shift? Shift A. We got Johnson Weaver. Okay. Johnson. Wormsley can go on that one. Uh, Warm Johnson, go and sort it out. Right, vandalism. Vandal, Vesely, or Vesiliev. Good job, good job, officers and harm. Oh my goodness. Everyday mal. A security guard noticed a suspicious group of teenagers hiding things under their jackets as they walked past the checkout. When he asked them to stop, the teenagers scattered in all directions. When he ran out of the store in the parking lot, the guard called the police. He says he couldn't have gone far. Right, Samadhi, beard, off you go. Goodness me. Why has everything become such a trial all of a sudden? Let's have a look at shift B. Shift B is not too bad. We need some more detectives. Yeah, we definitely need some more detectives. Did we get any more frames in the months that I was in hospital, by any chance? No, not really. Shocking. Shocking, really, isn't it? Months in... Uh... Keys. Oh, no, we think it's the janitor, don't we? We think it's the janitor. On this one... Uh, yeah, we don't have the thing. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. 
worst detectives in the world. Reckless endangerment. An unidentified woman says that a strange surgeon is operating without a license in the basement of her house. <laughs> he hardly looks like a real doctor. He's old, maybe senile, and always seems drunk. Yeah, sometimes the best ones are. We're going to send those two out. Uh, hopefully they'll be okay. Drug sales. Investigation. Okay. Um, I'm not even going to bother reading that until we've got some frames. There is absolutely no point. Theft. Sam D. Beard, offender court, officers and harms. Good job. They are progressing nicely. Um, let's have a look who's on shift B. Anyone we don't notice? Percy's up to 130. Good God. Good God. Wow. Percy, he is really coming into... The only people who haven't improved are my blooming detectives. Uh, Chinatown Dormitory. Okay. Oh, here we go. This is the doctor in the ghetto. A dirty basement. A teetering old man is digging around in, inside a young man's ripped open stomach. Order the old man to move slowly away from the patient. Call an ambulance. Robbins Vandal. Offender caught officers unharmed. Civilians unharmed. He survived. Incredible. Right, we're going to wait for the guys to get back from shift. There we go. Uh, Chinatown dormitory. A student couldn't get into his room. He was locked from the inside and he heard a muffling cries coming from a wind. It sounded like somebody was raping his girlfriend. Samdi, Beard, Vasiliev, go get that bugger. I'm not messing around with that one. Straight in there. Okay, St. John's Hospital. A nurse reports that she saw an elderly woman cut off her husband's life support system after a car accident left him with a coma for months. I know this cause is hopeless, but still murder. The greatest sin of all, according to the nurse, and the woman has blocked off the entrance to the ward. Robbins Vandal, you're up. Rape report. The girlfriend was just having some special moment with her new boyfriend. Oh, awkward. <laughs> Awkward. Okay, well, false alarm, but we did the right thing. Goodness me. Well, it's all coming down nicely. Here we go, the road. Oh, the homicide report. Robbins Vandal, offender court, officers and harms. Good job. Good job. These officers are getting really good now. A trucker just called in. He says a van stopped on the side of the road and three large men got out with shovels then somebody fell to the ground out of the back of the van I think they had his hands tied up they hit him in the head with one of the shovels and led him to the woods oh my god okay uh, let's send the guys I was tempted to send the SWAT then because that sounds like a nasty a nasty a happening going on there Right, we're coming to the end of the day. We'll see how this one kicks off. Right, Robbins and Vandal are back, just in case we need backup, which is good. They're now on the scene. Here's the truck. The van is empty, but the engine is still warm. The area is silent and dark. Wait in the ambush near the van. Enter the forest. Try not to make any noise. Turn on a flashlight and run in. You wouldn't run into the woods. Try not to make a noise. <gasps> no! Offender court, officers dead, civilians unharmed. Beard! No, not Beard! Samedi survived. Beard and Vasiliev. I didn't even know who he was. Oh, man. Man, oh, man. That's dreadful. Nine witness reports five armed men bursting into the jewelry store. A series of gunshots followed. Then, a few minutes later, a girl staggered out of the store, bleeding from the stomach. She fell to the pavement unconscious. Robbins, Vandal, take the SWAT team. This is a joke, right? We can't go out there alone. Pick somebody else. Oh, you useless lot. We're going to have to wait till Sam... Somebody's not going to be back in time. Guys, I need you to go with the SWAT team. Take the paddy wagon. Oh, God, please. You're refusing to go. Unbelievable. 
Offender escaped. Civilian killed. Oh. You cowards. Hit and run report. Oh, we got some new frames. So we got the grey truck. Um, the grey truck. Uh, something like that, isn't it? Uh, blah, 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 that lorry's a, okay. That's fine. We got some good frames on that one. That's good. Fine. Oh, this is the new one actually. Um, okay, well, let's have a look then. I saw the little fellow in the white jacket. He ordered the cherry cherry juice and drank at the bar. Then went to the bathroom with some bearded guy. Okay. I thought uh, we were just up for a little tickle. Uh, you see a lot of it these days, but when the other folks found the bearded guy with his nose in the toilet, I knew this guy's jacket was up to no good. The doctor, the man who suffered the heart attack, brought on by cocaine use. He lost consciousness, fell down, hit his head. The man was rushed to intensive care. His condition serious but stable. Uh, one of the booths had a broken toilet and on the floor beneath it was an empty cocaine bag sitting in a pool of blood. So that looks like a, a wash hand basin. Mr. Gillum, I saw a kid in a silly white jacket running out of the club. He ran like the devil. So we're after him. Okay, so that's that's that one. Okay, fine. I was doing my eyes in the doing my eyes in the bathroom mirror. I'm not even sure what that means. Uh, oh, I guess the mascara or something. When I heard a terrible roar from the other side of the wall, me and a friend went to see what happening and found a drug addict lying on the floor. Of course, we called an ambulance, but uh, didn't make it. The smelly druggy. Okay. So we know. Wait, hang on. Who is this purple? Hang on, wait, 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 wait. He drank. Then he went into the bathroom with some bearded guy. Well, that's a woman's. Okay. And he's got a mustache anyway. Okay, so they are useless frames. In fact, they are useless frames. Great. Oh, beard. No. Oh. Oh, yeah. He's only worked for us for six days. His his relatives that he's never met turned up today, and I refused him to go to go and meet them, and he's, then they're never going to meet him because he's now dead. What a day. And they're going to declare him dead. I mean, they're going to declare him dead as well. Well, we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm... What an episode. That really escalated. It's going to be a long one, but wow, that escalated quite a bit. Oh, I'm exhausted. Right, I'll leave it there. Thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying this still, and I'll see you next time in Freeburg Police Department.